Hi, I'm Brianna. The first step is background research. In this step, you need to find as much information about what the topic is before any digging begins. What are you looking for? We are looking for Ramsey's gold and personal belongings of what he had. The next question I need to answer is, where is it? The personal belongings are in Ramsey's tomb. The next question I need to answer is, what is near it? What is near it is, it is located in the nearest town called Valley of the Kings. Also, they had a training town called Kadesh. The last question, what is, what is the area's landscape? The area's landscape has many high sandy mountains in the area. Thank you for watching and listening to my information on background research. I'm Kate, the archaeologist of the group. I make sure it's safe to dig. Before you start digging, you need a permit. While I was digging, I found lots of bracelets and some ancient gold coins. Also, some bricks from the tomb of Ramses. While you're digging, you need a brush, a shovel, and a grid plan. That's what you do for excavation. Now to the next step. I'm Chloe, the anthropologist. I'm the person who figures out what the artifacts are and what they're and what they are used for. The four questions I ask is, what is it, how old is it, what, what was it used for, and was it made or traded? These are gold coins. They were, they're, they're about 2,750 years old. They were used for currency, and the Egyptians made them. I'm Luca, and my job is to publicize our findings by putting all the information of our findings together. During our dig, we found a lot of jewelry. Most of it is made of gold. These were found in Ramsey's tomb because they were either his belongings or his wife's belongings. Mm -hmm. We also found gold coins, which are in the tomb so Ramses can use them in the afterlife. We also found pieces of pyramids around Ramses' tomb. We believe they collapsed somehow. We know these are built by Ramses because of their age, and Ramses built the most monuments of all the other pharaohs. I'm Deanna. I'm my team's preservation specialist. The fifth step in the archaeological method is preservation. During this step, you must carefully preserve the artifacts, keeping in mind where you'll store them. We need to think about the temperature, the level of moisture, the acidity, the microorganisms, etc. If we do not carefully preserve the artifacts, then they may break or expire and no longer be a reliable source of information.